Hello gorgeous Capricorn, welcome to your monthly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Thank you for joining me. I have intuitively chosen several decks of cards for the reading, a mixture of oracle and tarot cards. And at the end of the reading, I'm going to be using the pendulum. So you get to ask spirit a direct question and receive that yes, no answer. So let's see what this deck reveals. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you. Let's call in your angels, guide, spirit and source energy to also be present during this reading to help reveal the messages that they want to bring through for you. Spiritual growth and peace. The angels are present to acknowledge that you have recently experienced an incident or event that has elevated your spirituality. So there is, um, there has been or there is going to be an event or a circumstance or an understanding that you have about spiritual things. Um, and that's going to be unique to everyone, of course. But I do see that your growth spiritually is going to be heightened um, over the next month. So that's a great energy to have around you. Secret desire. The angels are aware of your innermost desires and dreams. Hand them over for safekeeping. They do. The angels and source universal energy. They, they know they know your they hear your prayers they know what what your desires are they know they know what you're dreaming of there is something secret or you think that's secret perhaps but they are aware of it um i would say pray on it i would say meditate on it because there's some interesting and powerful energies that want to work with you to help break the to help bring this into manifestation or to help um, um, they want to help in some way that's why they're asking you to hand it over hand over the hand over this prayer because you know they're going to answer it in a miraculous way they really are they're going to answer it um, in a way that you're not expecting um, in a way that is magical in a way that is beautiful and just perfect but not what you're expecting break the silence the angels would like to assist you with sensitive communication that is required at this moment in time so i see that you and another person are going to start to talk there has been silence between you for some time and uh, your angel wants to actually your guardian angel wants to help you navigate that communication in fact any communication that's important to you call upon your angel this month the answer is no the angels have heard your question and the answer is definitely no so if you have a question that you asked before this reading if you've had something on your mind then the answer is no it'll be interesting to see whether the pendulum shows up a no as well but we'll have to wait and see Let's take a look at the next deck of cards here. This is an, a, a numerological deck, so the numbers might mean something to you, of course, um, but the messages might as well. So let's take a look at what they say. Number seven, personal growth. And seven, of course, is a highly spiritual number that may resonate for you in a beautiful way or have a, have a message from spirit there. Um, but there's... There's a major personal growth that's going to happen um, this month. Might be to do with parenting. Number 63. So it might be to do with parenting. Perhaps you are the child though. Okay, in this scenario, you might be the child. So it could be going that way. Number 11. Individuality. So remain unique to you. And it's covering breaking the silence. So this communication, you need to um, make sure that you are being true to you, being an individual. And this uniqueness is your superpower in some regard. Forgiveness might be needed this month, number 96. And this is not only forgiveness of someone, but forgiveness of self as well. It might resonate on that level for you. Let's take a look at this deck for you, Capricorn. Guidance for Capricorn. Let's 
last one here is yours dream talk so dream journaling is going to be really important for you a message from spirit is going to come through your dream state your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams it's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs symbols messages and more yep so keep a look out for these signs these symbols in your dreams listen you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone now is not the time to be offering advice but to be a compassionate listener to listen fully and intently means to pay attention not to just what's being said but to what lies beneath the words Mm, very interesting there's something that you're going to hear that someone is not saying but you will get the meaning or you'll understand something a bit deeper soul power always remember you're a soul that comes with a body not a body that comes with a soul your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it that's always important to remember but it can be very difficult to remember as well and isn't that beautiful it's covering individuality yeah meaning we all uniquely have this individual soul power you are not alone we are here for you we never left through all the sadness and loneliness however you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you we are your family friends and guides you never walk alone we walk right beside you so even if you feel that you are alone you are not alone and spirit is saying very clearly here with this card to take notice of this you are not alone so if you do start to feel that energy in any kind of way in the month ahead please remember this that's what they are saying right now this is the deck of archetypes so these archetypes might resonate for you the light or the shadow aspects if they don't resonate for you then this is about someone you know Guidance, please, Spirit, for Capricorn. The Alchemist. The light attribute, transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. And the shadow attribute, misuse of the power and knowledge that come through spiritual practice. The Saboteur. The light attribute highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life and the shadow attribute induces self-destructive behavior or a desire to undermine others shape shifter the light attribute skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness ability to see the potential in everything and the shadow attribute projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment dilettante the light attributes delights in the arts without having to be a professional alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits and the shadow attribute is pretension too much deeper knowledge than you actually possess okay so let's take a look now at the last and final deck of this reading this is the the animal tarot let's see this one here i feel is yours the empress is the mother archetype so you may have a mothering influence so that may be you and maybe your mother grandmother or someone who holds this energy in your life there might be conversations interactions even if they are passed over time to hop into action Use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life. Time to get moving with something. It's a very fertile energy. Um, there is a lot of 
um, gain to be had if you uh, put in some effort. The King of Spring, now's your moment to step up to a leadership role. Don't back away from the spotlight as your plans will be successful so long as you stay focused upon the big picture. Beautiful. The Ace of Winter, implementation of your brilliant new idea, make it off to a rocky start, but keep going. The challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better. And the Seven of Spring, be assertive, believe in yourself and don't let anyone take away your personal power. Trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a look now at the pendulum. So if you do have a question you would like answered by the pendulum, then think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So feel that answer out in your intuition and see how that resonates for you in the question that you asked. So I hope you have a wonderful month ahead. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.